In today's video, guys, we've added a brand new ability to every single tower called the Barrage Ability. What does it do? The Barrage Ability takes the projectile and then multiplies it all around the balloons and then launches them all together to create one giant devastating attack. Here, let me show you. For example, if we just get a normal dart monkey, as you can see, we get this new ability. And obviously, we're starting on round 40, which does seem a little bit crazy here. So if we use this ability, it'll then spawn all of the darts and spawn pause on the balloon and look now it'll launch in three two one go and a single dart monkey destroyed a moab balloon by itself but oh my goodness this isn't good oh no this is bad ah there's too many balloons getting by i'm scared all right we're gonna go ahead and i'm just gonna put down overdrive real fast so that way we can deal with those balloons so that way we don't have to deal with that and we have twenty thousand dollars so we are starting on round 40 just because this mod is so overpowered guys wait what? The, the, the bananas? The, wait, how does the banks work? Wait, look, the bank you tried to use the banana. It stunned it. Wait, what happens if we do just like normal, like normal bananas? Here, we can use this ability. The, I love the darts. What happens with like the tax shooter? Oh my gosh. So the tax shooter just does the same thing, but you know, with his tax as well. Wait, so does this work with bananas? Oh my gosh. So many bananas. Guys, I think I'm rich now. Holy cow. That was so amazing. Radar scanner. Okay. Here. Oh, no. We need to use this ability. Oh, no. Here. Wait. Let's use sharpshooter real fast. And then... Oh, no. Try to take it out quickly. Okay. There we go, guys. Now, we don't have crossbow master just yet. <laughs> what the heck? Here. Valuable bananas. We can get banana plantation. Here. And then we can just, like, use the ability on this, right? Because then look... Oh, my gosh. It spawns all the crossbows. That's so good. And then all the crossbows just whoosh. I love that it like pauses the balloons. That is so good. And like anytime we need to make money, like look at this. Look at how much money is like, that's so much money. That's $50,000. What the heck? And we can do this with every single tower, guys. So like, let's try the boomerang monkey. So if we put the boomerang monkey and let's say we get like glaive ricochet, more glaives, faster throwing, faster rings. Actually, I don't want faster rings. We want them to be stronger. So we'll get red hot rings. And then, like, more glaives. I could already get glaive lord if I wanted to. So, if we use the ability on this, let's see. Ready? There we go. Oh, my gosh. That is so cool. Look at all. And then it just launches all of the glaives. I love that. That is so good. Wait, guys. I think I'm going to break the game, guys. Let's do recursive cluster. It's going to break the game for sure, but I want to see it. Wait. We need to wait for there not to be just a bunch of camo balloons. All right. Here we go. And... Oh my gosh, look at all the bombs, guys. Holy cow, that's so many bombs. Oh no. Oh my gosh, look at all the explosions! That's so awesome! It only got 200 pops, though. That's so funny. I love all of that. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna go down here and we're just gonna put down a, a perma spike factory just because I don't want any balloons sneaking out. Wait, look, it's not. Wait, it doesn't spawn anything. What happens if we use the ability? Oh my gosh, that's so many. What the heck? Did it, it got pops, dude. That's amazing. Okay, let's just use this ability and just get a bunch of bananas. Literally, it gives you so many bananas. What happens if we use a banana research facility? Is it just going to give us, like, a crazy amount of bananas, guys? I have no idea. Let's let's try it. Oh, my gosh, guys. We have $600,000 now. That's so much money. Wait, I want to... We need to try out more of all of the, the towers here. Let's go. I'm going to put this guy all the way back here. And we're, this is going to be the legend of the night. And this guy is going to stop any balloons that try to get by. Right? Like, that's going to be his whole thing. What happens if we use his ability? Oh, my gosh. That's so satisfying. Look at that. And that's just going to destroy everything. Like, nothing is going to spawn. And that's just going to just... Oh, my gosh. That's so good. Here, we can get this. Here, let's use it one more time. Look at how much money we got, guys. $2.4 million, guys. I don't think we really need any more money. Here, we can sell these things and try out a couple of new things. So, I want to go ahead and I'm going to put a village right here. And this village is just going to allow us to pop all the different types of balloons. So, let's go through and try out all each... Wait, what does tri triple shot do? Is triple shot going to spawn triple darts? Like, is that how that works? And so, it spawns it on the closest balloon. How interesting. Or not the closest balloon, but like, whatever the furthest balloon is on the long track, right? What happens... I don't know if I... Let's try just a normal Juggernaut and not an Ultra Juggernaut, right? I think that might be a little bit safer to try out. 
So, Ultra Juggernaut, or just normal Juggernaut. Yeah, look at this. It creates all the Juggernaut balls, and then whoosh! It sends them everywhere. Could you imagine if that was Ultra Juggernaut? I bet it would crash the game because there's just so many that it has to deal with. That's absolutely bonkers. What happens if we use, like, the Kylie, like, Moab Domination? I'm very... Wait, what? He has got... He has two, he has two abilities. What is this ability? Oh my gosh, so that sends out all of these mo- Okay, but what does the other ability do? What? It's- It sends out the different types of boomerangs! That's amazing! What the- Oh my gosh, that just- Oh my gosh, it crashed the whole game! <laughs> okay guys, so the boomerang monkey was not the play, guys. That lagged out the game so badly. Let's go ahead, I wanna try out the Moab Eliminator, guys. Let's see how good this is gonna be. I bet it's gonna be pretty awesome. Here, we can- we need to save up just a little bit more, and now... Alright, let's go. Oh my gosh, there's so many Moab Eliminators! It's like- Oh, what the heck?! There's thousands of them! I can't- Guys, the whole screen is just like, take it up by- What is happening? There is so many of them! Holy cow, guys! It's still going! Okay, that one's a little overpowered, guys. That one's really overpowered. Wait, what happens if we use, like, the Infernal Ring? Oh, the, look at this. The Infernal Ring also gets two. It crashed the game, guys. Infernal Ring's not the way to go. Let's go ahead and try out the Blade Maelstrom. I'm actually really... I feel like this is the same ability. Like, I feel like they're the same... They're, they're the same thing, right? So there's this ability. Wait, what the heck is this? What is happening?! This is the normal Blade Maelstrom ability, but it turns into these giant red bombs. What? Okay, so what does this ability do then? So this is this- Oh, okay. So this is the actual- That's actually so strong. What the heck? I, I love this. Where- What are these bright red bombs doing here? This is supposed to be the norm- Like the normal Super Maelstrom ability. See, like how it spins out like that? But why is there red bombs? Guys, I think all of the military towers are not going to work very well. I Let's try the Darlin Gunner, but I'm, I'm not super, like, I'm not so sure it's going to work out the way we want it to. So let's go ahead. We can get powerful darts, and now we can do this. So look at, oh, that's actually so satisfying that it creates all those, like, lasers like that. And then whoosh, and then it just sends all the lasers out. Let's go ahead. I definitely want to try the MAD. I think the MAD is going to look so cool once it gets all of the abilities. Look at this. So, yeah. Like, look at how cool that looks, guys. And then it just, like, launches them out. And it, like, so low. Oh, my gosh. That, yeah. No, the MAD worked out really well. Wait, but how is the balloon denial system going to look? So, we can use... Does this ability work? So, that creates that, which is that. And what? how does... Does this one work? No, it does not. <laughs> But now we get to go on to, like, the wizard monkeys, which I'm really excited about. So, like, what happens if we go, like, like the wizard Lord Phoenix? What happens with this guy? So, if we spawn this, this creates... Oh, my gosh. Are those all just walls? That looks so amazing. What is even happening? And then it just sends... Okay, that might be the coolest looking one I've ever seen. That is so mesmerizing. What? It like lags the game out, but that is amazing. And then the second one, and that, and so that just sends out his fire projectiles. Look at, okay, the first one's definitely way cooler looking, but that's still really amazing. All right, here we go. Necromancer, let's try this, guys. Is it gonna spawn zombie blue? What the heck? It just creates like this big strobe light. What about this one? Oh my gosh, look, it just creates a bunch of zombie Moabs. All right, now it's time to move on to the super monkey, guys. We're doing pretty good so far. Guys, I love how, like, slowly but surely, like, we're kind of making through, but every time the game crashes, it just, like, doesn't know what to do with itself. See this one? Okay, that might be the, that might be the coolest. Look at how it, like, creates the, okay. That is really neat. I like the sun avatar a lot. And wait, this is, this is a wizard monkey. This is the wrong one. And I always forget. Guys, that's also not a good idea. <laughs> All right, guys. So since the game keeps crashing, I'm actually just going to launch it up in sandbox mode. So that way we can try out all the different combinations and try out all the cool towers. So what if we do like 100 like BFBs, right? And then we send all of those. Oh my gosh, that's so many. And then we just use the ability. Here we go. 
Oh my gosh, look at the pop count, 5,000 already. And then it just launches it. Immediately gets 32,000 pops. He's not able to pop all of them by himself though. So that one's like not that good just because it's it doesn't have a lot of pierce, right? And what if we go all the way and then get like the Moab Eliminator, right? And then we send all the BFDs this way. And now that we have this, let's see what happens with this. Ready? And now so we use this. Look at no, look at the pop count. Yeah, 60,000. 100,000. Yeah, so this guy ended up getting 150,000 pops. Total transformation. And let's see what happens with this guy. So this one Wait, what? That was really weird. I have no idea. It just put all the potions on him. And then this one, it just does more of the potions as well. So it doesn't actually get to send any of his attack. Wait, what happens if we launch? What if we activate this and then we use this ability? Does either one of those works? No, but it's still like really strong. It got 31,000 pumps, but not as good as it could potentially be guys i was warned that we can't do the top path of this because it completely crashes the game so maybe we end the video off with that with seeing exactly how crazy that's gonna be let's try avatar of wrath and let's see how well this guy works against 100 bfb balloons ready and boom so he gets a decent amount of pops. Look at all of that. That's actually so good. He ended up getting 87,000 pops. I want to see how well certain towers can do against this. Like the ones that we've already tried, right? Can he deal with all 100 of these BFB balloons? There we go. Okay. So there's the ability. He already has 100. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so basically he already bought, he jumped right up to like 400,000 pops and just immediately destroyed all of them. What happens if we use like super mines? Does super mines work? I don't know. Let's find out. So again, 100 BFBs versus this guy. Look, he doesn't actually, wait, what? Now he just sends them out normally. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Let's try that against 100 bad balloons. I really want to see how this works against 100 bad balloons. Look at this pop. It's not even done yet. It's not even done yet. It's still launching. It wasn't able to deal with all of them, but man, was it close, guys. That was amazing. It had 6 million pops now. What the heck? Wait. What happens with an engineer? I have to know what happens with an engineer, guys. Let's find out. I am really interested to see what happens with this. So... Are those all sentry guns? The game's crashing. There is no way that the game's not going to crash from that. There is no way. Look at how many sentry guns there are. There's thousands of them. We're crashing the game. There's no I have to leave, guys. There's so many sentry guns. Quick. Oh, restart, 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 restart. Oh my, oh, phew. That was terrifying, guys. So I was told to not use the top path alchem, the top path druid because of how powerful it is and how it completely destroys the game. So let's spot, let's crash the game out, guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Let's do this, guys. All right, so that's 1,000 bad balloons look at it. it's just like a giant purple stream like you can't even see any of the bad balloons that's amazing all right uh let's see this is probably gonna crash my game guys oh my gosh it's so bright there's so many tornadoes what is happening what it's just like pure white right here and then it's just like all the tornadoes are going out. Oh my gosh, we're running at one frame a second. How many? Look at his pops. 300,000. It's going so... What is... Is the game crashing? I have no idea. Holy cow, thank you so much for watching today's video, guys. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for some more awesome content.